Hey guys, the Trout91 here, and today we are doing the M240 in the Custom Class Guide. The M240 is a gun with high to medium recoil with a fast rate of fire. It's got fairly poor iron sights, I would say. They're rather distracting on this gun compared to the other ones. It has a great clip size, but can burn through ammo sometimes. It depends on how you play. It has a good deal of damage, and I suggest for a sidearm, I would pick the handgun or the machine pistol just for the faster time to bring it out. My favourite attachments are the grip and the thermal, and I partner them with the Bling Pro, obviously, and stopping power and steady aim, simply because I find this gun's very good at the hip fire, so I want to put steady aim on and uh, ensure I can hit anyone close range, but the thermal's very good at controlling that recoil, especially at long distances, as this gun's very poor when it comes to shooting at long distance, simply because of the high recoil, so it's good to burst fire, and the thermal helps you do that pretty well, I will have to say. My second class would be the variation with the ACOG and the hardline. I feel if I'm using an ACOG that this gun doesn't necessarily need stopping power, so I can get away with using some other tier 2 perk. And the ACOG is really an absolute beast. If you don't mind putting some time into this gun, you're going to get rewarded pretty well. I think the best way to get over the the bad side of this gun is to put the time and effort into trying to control it with the attachments, especially. And the ACOG does that just well. You can burst fire at a distance, you can shoot at close range. It's a, it does complement it very well, so I would suggest trying this out if you don't want to go all the way and use the thermal. And if you're not really feeling like trying to put the time in to get that. You can use the holographic. It's very good at burst firing at long ranges. Uh, the cold blood and scramble is very good if you're someone who likes to play defensive. I would suggest that's something to do is to hang back and burst fire and shoot. If you're not moving much, scramble is pretty good because people won't know where you are so you can pretty much stay invisible and the cold blooded should help that. I hope you enjoyed that. I'd say when using LMGs the best idea is to just stay back a little bit. It's kind of like a mini sniper rifle, but you can also have the option of going up close and personal. So I would really think about how you play. I'd say defensive is going to suit this gun bet, like any LMG better than most of them. Uh, the next we'll be doing the sniper rifles, and the next one will be the intervention. I hope to see you for that, and I will see you later. Peace.